Let's menu plan together. Well, the cops just left. They said if I wanted to run around my house naked, I had to do it inside. This is Let Us Eat on Stan Ridgeway, and welcome back to my channel. We are going to menu plan for the next few weeks for my household. I am behind in menu planning because it's been warm in October and not very nice outside with a lot of rain, fog, a misty-like feeling, and just uncomfortable and sticky. And I have here my menu board. And I'll explain my menu board a little further in the video. But if you're new here, thank you so much for dropping by and clicking on my link. Thank you to everyone who supports me each and every day. Friday, which is tomorrow, the big day, we'll all announce two winners for the items giveaway. One for new subs, one for comments. So you still have time to qualify. If you are a new viewer, look for that subscribe word and click on it and let me know in comments. My subscribe guy, he just popped up. He's asking everybody to go ahead and smash that like button. Please click on that subscribe word down below. Don't forget to tap on that bell. And we're about 12 away from 600. When we hit 600, we will be doing the Dollar Tree $10 gift card giveaway. That is for new subs as well and comments. Same rules apply. Must be United States residents for both. As you saw in the beginning of the video, this is my menu planning board. I picked this up for about $5 at Five Below. And recently I picked up this planner from the Dollar Tree. It's a wall planner that can stick right onto your kitchen wall. And it's a dry erase. And I love it because I'm going to use this to plan my grocery walls, the Dollar Tree groceries, Dollar Tree dinners, what days I'm going to be cooking it and for five videos per week. So we're going to also plan my next five videos together. Let's go ahead and clear the board here. Just making sure you can see. Now my children are tired of pork chops. Jacqueline doesn't eat a lot of meat, very little bit when they do eat it. Isabel eats pretty much everything, but is the one that's tired of the pork chops. So we're going to omit that for the next couple of weeks. And ribs are popular. I'm tired of them in the crock pot, but I have a set of Lloyd's ribs that we can do in the oven. And Lloyd's ribs are absolutely delicious. And don't forget to change your month up at the top of the board as well. Let's use purple for October and put opt at the top. And it is Thursday and today we're going to have a kielbasa. My husband is going to do it in the crock pot. Tomorrow is Friday and it's usually pizza or takeout. Now when I'm planning my menu, we use the themed nights. Friday is our pizza night for takeout if we don't feel like pizza. Saturday we have some kind of beef. And we just did crock pot London broil this past weekend. I think I'm going to put down a chuck roast for Saturday. And we always do some type of whole chicken or some kind of a whole pork, poultry, or beef product on a Sunday. We're going to do the Lloyd's rib. Monday is our round two day from leftovers. And since we normally don't have leftovers from Sunday with the ribs, I'll come back to this day. Tuesday is generally our pork night, but we're having pork on Sunday, and I try not to duplicate the meats or the porks or the poultry too close together. Wednesday is our Italian night. The 
which just brings us to Thursday. And I haven't had a meatloaf in a while. So I'm going to put down meatloaf in Friday's pizza night or takeout. And Saturday, we can grill steaks. Weather permitting, if it's rainy, we'll do beef stew. There. Even though it's Thursday, I put the Italian night before it so I don't get sidetracked or confused. Now, I have a ton of chicken drumsticks, so I can do some deep fried chicken on Monday. And then Tuesday, we'll do a chicken casserole with leftovers. Not everything is set in stone. It's okay to change if you're not feeling that particular type of food for that day. Onto my planner. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, set. Perfect. Now I film seven days a week because on weekends I usually do my grocery shopping and it's easy for me to be able to film the grocery haul. Today is Thursday. My next video is going to be a Dollar Tree dinner, so I'll be filming today. I do two videos per day, sometimes three. Friday, I'm going to be doing a clean with me video and a decluttering video. Two separate videos. I don't like to clean and declutter at the same time unless it's a small space. Saturday is going to be the grocery haul. And I usually do two videos per day in case I can only film one video on the weekend. I'll have two to upload. And I like to do shorts in between. Sunday, I have my 10% off coupon. And I'm going to be doing a Dollar Tree haul. Monday, I'll do a get it all done, which is cooking and cleaning video, and a Dollar Tree dinner. On Tuesdays, I like to go to the Dollar Tree in the evening, and we'll do a Dollar Tree grocery haul. Now I just uploaded a Dollar Tree grocery haul and I spent $44 on groceries and some of my Dollar Tree dinners that I'll be filming will be coming from that video. I'll be doing a ham casserole and I will be doing a homemade hamburger helper with the bacon cheeseburger beef patties that I found. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine videos planned. Over here are notes. I'm going to write down nine videos. We exceeded my goal of five and I have nine. So that's fantastic. And I'm going to put these in my Facebook group, the next nine videos that I'll be filming. So you guys know what's coming up. The menu for my meals is so important. 
My husband knows what we're having. He can go to the board, take out the night before what we need to out of the freezer and have it thawed and ready to throw into the crock pot. I'll fix some of that. And knowing what we're having for dinner, as I'm cooking, I like to write down what I'm running low on with groceries, with meats, chicken, and pork, as well as spices, sides, canned goods, and things of that nature that we need. I'm going to show you what my freezer looks like. This is my spare freezer where I have all of my overstock of food and produce. And about once a month I declutter it and it's not self defrost so I have to get rid of some of the ice again. We usually keep the heat and eats down at the bottom but things were put away really quickly by my husband and things are out of control again. And this is where I find all my pork and chicken and then our extra chicken as you see here. Chicken wings, our extra pizzas. I usually keep my fish fillets down at the bottom and produce it in there. And I know exactly what I have. I keep an itemized list in my phone of everything that's in this freezer and the little freezer in the kitchen. Here is my second freezer. We keep breakfast heat and eats in here. Usually just lunch heat and eats. It's a mess again. Ice cream's at the bottom. And then extra produce in here as well as pancakes. My cupboards. These are my canned goods and sides where I keep everything. I got those racks at walmarts.com. The bins I had for quite a few years. I have sauce to the right, and then I have gravy and vegetables and cream soups to the left. Overstock in the middle. My pantry shelves are a hot mess, but that is why I declutter them once a month to stay on top of them. Plus, I'll know what's available in the house and what I need more of. But it's where I keep my instant soups like Raymond's, um, mac and cheese, quick snacks, extra packets of Velveeta lunchbox items, bread, popcorn, hot chocolate. Menu planning is so important for your household. If you don't menu plan, I recommend that you give it a try. And I do my simple rotation menu with theme nights as we did here and planned our dinners. Now my husband's gonna know what's for dinner and he can take things out the night before. And then whether it's a crock pot or oven, I can prep things in the morning and throw them in the crock pot or get them marinating for the day to throw into the oven. Plus, as you make foods, you can see what you're getting low on and keep a list so your supermarket list is ready for whenever you shop. And also, by menu planning, you'll know what's in your freezers to keep an itemized list so you don't overbuy, and that'll save you money. Round two meals, when you utilize leftovers and make a new meal the next day, will also save you a ton of money by using one round two meal a week. Thank you so much for dropping by and clicking on my link. If you're new here, I really appreciate you checking me out. My subscribe guy just popped up. He's asking everybody to go ahead and smash that like button. Don't forget about the contests that, that we have going on. Tomorrow we announce the winners for the items giveaway. There's still time to click on that subscribe word down below and to comment and comment often. Please let me know that you're new so you'll qualify. Also, when we get to 600, we're about 11 away. We will do the $10 Dollar Tree gift card contest, one for new subs and one for comments. The same rules apply to that one as well. Don't forget to tap on the bell, which is extremely important for you and for my channel because Without that bell, you won't know when I upload 
and you will miss things. So make sure you tap on it and you can personalize it to your preference. And I really hope that if you don't menu plan, you will adapt this to your household. And thank you for hanging out with me and planning my next nine videos. My goal was five and we did four more.